Ah, oh, shit, there was a stone. Ah, oh. and with that, uh, welcome to our new scripting tutorial. As you can see, I will show you today our ragdoll plugin. Um, here, I hate it, there was a fucking stone in the grass. And <laughs> I fall. Um, but I can easily stand up with pressing the button G or fall down again with the button G. Um, you can easily change this button under the settings in key bindings, 5M and Ragdoll. Um, yeah. Let's check out the code. You see, the code is very simple, and we have two versions of it. One of them is currently coming out, and I will explain it later. First, I created a thread, which contains a while true loop, in which I will check if ragdoll is true, and if it's true, I will use the native set pad to ragdoll. I will give the player pad ID and the time along the pad was set to ragdoll. Then I register a comment, ragdoll, and in this function I check if the player isn't in a vehicle and if he's not in a vehicle I will set ragdoll true or false. Last I register the key mapping, I will give the comment I registered, a description, the device I want to use and the default button. Yeah. The second code is pretty similar to the first. Only change is that I register two commas, plus ragdoll and minus ragdoll. Um, this will be used for if I will press the button, I will ragdoll, and if I release it, I will send up. In the first one, it was you will press the button will release it and you will be in this ragdoll mode. If you press it again and release it, you will be stand up. Yeah, that's the only difference between this first and the second. I hope you guys like the video and write us a comment, some feedback and see you in the next one.